Hey everybody, this is Jen with Genco Designs, teaching artists and entrepreneurs how to improve their digital media skills using top-rated technology. Today we're going to do a perspective drawing in Affinity Designer, and to do that we're going to use guides. We're going to go ahead and create this uh, two-point perspective. It's a box. It's a cute little box. I've gone ahead and set up a document with our vanishing points on it, and we're going to use a guide manager to uh, put in the horizon line and some other um, layout lines that we'd like. So come up to view at the top. We want to make sure that your show rulers is checked and you want to open the guides manager. Okay. One of the easiest ways to add guides into your uh, drawing is to go ahead and pull them down from the rulers. So um, go up to the ruler and just click on it and pull down and you'll bring a guide in. I'm going to go ahead and turn snapping on up here make sure we get everything lined right up here we are going to pull in a couple from the um, some vertical ones from the side here there's one in the center and we're going to add a couple and I want to show you how to do that directly in the guides manager so we're going to add a horizontal so you come down here to this little symbol here and add. Now it automatically adds it. I'm not exactly sure how it calculates that, but at least gives you one and you can put in uh, the precise location that you'd like to have the guide in. Okay, so we want to add a couple more over here. Uh, let's do one at... Uh, to make this video short I've already created the box I just want to make sure that when we that as we do this that this all works okay okay so there we have all of our guides there is a button down here to remove all the guides and we will use that at the end to remove the guides off the uh, drawing so um, we'll go ahead and close the guides manager for right now we're going to go ahead and start to do our lines from our vanishing points to create our perspective. Like I said before, I already have all this done to make sure that the video stays nice and short. We're just going to go ahead and turn them on. Now well, there's the two bottom lines that will show the bottom of the box. We have uh, the left side there and the right side. Now I want to take a couple of seconds and let you know how I did this. What I did was I created a, um, I take a box, just a regular shape, and I bring in a box like this, and then I convert it to curves right here. So it takes it from just having a, a bounding box like this, you convert it to curves, and now you have a true vector object um, as if you had drawn it with the pen. And that's exactly how I got it to line up with the grid. Okay. So um, let's go back to our box here. So we have this drawing. Now we want to go ahead and turn on the the uh, lines that will define the top, the back, the two backs, the top lines here. We have those. So we'll go ahead and show those sides. Okay. So now you can see the box is taking shape. We'll go ahead and turn on the flaps that we made, and there we have our box. Now if we turn off all of the uh, alignment lines, and we're going to go ahead, and there's, one, there's two ways to remove your uh, guidelines. One is you just um, go ahead and pull them off, you can just swipe them off. And the other is to go back to the guides manager uh, here and just hit remove all guides. And there you go. There's your box. Um, I hope you had fun today. We learned how to use the guide manager to uh, place guides and, and be able to set up a layout for you to use. In the snapping, uh, I did, didn't show you, but in snapping you can snap to guides right here. So that makes them you know, very good layout tool. Um, I'm having fun doing these videos. I hope you like them. If you do, click the buttons, like, share, and subscribe. It really does make a difference. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.